Hi, everyone. Fear tonight, shock, a uh, lot of passion, to say the least, in the city of Alito. I'm Doug Dunbar. For the first time since some Alito students participated in what was a mock online slave trade, the community is getting a chance to share their real thoughts with the school district. Brooke Katz is joining us from the CBS DFW studio tonight. Brooke? And Doug, no shortage of opinions about what happened and a path forward for the district. Tonight at the school board meeting, the community got a chance to let their voices be heard. This is who we have allowed ourselves to become through inaction. With a standing room only crowd watching, tough conversations Monday night in Alito. What are you going to do with this? And how are we going to be better? For those in attendance, there was no conversation more important or urgent than race. We have to get comfortable with having uncomfortable conversations. Tonight's meeting comes on the heels of white students pretending to sell their black classmates in an online slave trade auction. The district launched an investigation, but many, including one of the students targeted in that racist act, say it's not nearly enough. Now I'm asking the Board of Trustees and the Superintendent, when will you make the changes needed to ensure all of us feel treated fairly and safe? One mom says she'll never forget what happened to one of her sons in a separate incident when he was tackled to the ground during a neighborhood game. As he lay with his face pressed into the cement, he pleaded with them to get off of him. He told them he couldn't breathe. He laid there hopeless, hoping somebody would step in. As he struggled to break free, one of the children said, Hey, put your knee on his neck. Put your knee on his neck. She wants to see the school district take the lead. Let's sit in the discomfort of these events for as long as it takes to drive and affect change. Many of the speakers want to see a comprehensive written out plan that addresses how to handle racial issues among students in Alito schools. The district says the students involved were disciplined. Doug? But just the beginning of what appears to be a very long conversation, Brooke. Thank you.